In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Mezco Toys Friday 13th Mega Size Jason with the stylized Jason Voorhees from the same company. A viewer had actually asked me if I could do the comparison between the stylized Jason Voorhees, because I really like those figures so much, along with the little bit more disappointing Mega Size Jason Voorhees, so I thought why not we would do it in this video. Now, obviously, I have to stress that in this video, it's going to be hard to do a comparison between Mega Size Jason and the smaller stylized Jasons. But I'm going to do my best because, again, like these are going to vary differently from then the larger scale Jason, which I, again, found very disappointing just by its size and the price point for it. So why don't we talk about pricing first? And then we'll kind of get into the nitty gritties of each of the individual figures. So as I had mentioned, when we had a look at mega size Jason, this Jason cost me about $115 at my local uh, comic store, which I guess was pretty expensive. I have to admit that uh, I did the comparing uh, in this video to the uh, Living Dead Dolls Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger, which also did have sound. It was a little bit smaller, but to be fair, it had just as much, if not more sound than Mega Size Jason, and the price point for it was about $50 less. So I really do think that Mezco set the bar really high for the price point on this guy. It should have been a lot more affordable. You could also say, really, that the comic book store should have had this guy sold for a lot less, but it's really at the mercy of, uh, you know, the, the company that's making it, what they're selling it for. Comic book stores, of course, aren't going to undersell uh, because obviously they want to make money as well. So this one, I think, should have been a lot more reasonably priced, even if he was about, I want to I wanna say like $70 at the very most. Like if he was a $60, $65 figure, I think I would be more, more happier with it. But $115 for that, I think it was way too much, especially for what little it could actually do, at least in the way of audio. Then you start comparing it to these guys. Now, I happen to have the two different versions. I've done reviews on all of these, if you guys want to check them out. We're not going to get too in-depth when it comes to these individual uh, figures, because we've already looked at them so much. This one here is the regular comic book store release. This one here happened to be the Entertainment Earth exclusive. You can see again, and we won't spend a whole lot of time on it, but this one had the additional blood all over its, its outfit. And uh, it also had the blood on the mask and the mask glowed in the dark, whereas this one did not. The, the both figures did also come with uh, axes and uh, they also came with machetes. Jason Voorhees, the mega sized, did come with his own machete, a little bit kind of more preschool, if I could use the term preschool to describe a machete, especially with blood all over it. But it was a little bit more of a basic sort of, uh, sort of machete. And I just happen to have, there's, there's the smaller one right there. So there's not really that much different between them if I can actually hold on to them. One could even use the argument that they're the exact same. I even feel like they could be the exact same mold and they've simply just either upsized it or shrunk it depending on whatever machete they needed for whatever Jason. So they're probably the exact same uh, weapons. The Mega Size Jason benefited from having cloth. It had cloth in its shirt as well as in its pants. The boots were plastic. Um, unlike Living Dead Dolls, though, I don't think you could actually have removed the boots. I didn't try it. I don't feel as if Jason really should have had no shoes on while he's going around killing camp counselors. That's just my own opinion. Um, but he did have fabric pants, fabric shirt. And uh, one thing I do also want to stress too, and I said it already over the course of the review of this guy, is that his mask wasn't removable. And I think that was a big detriment as well. If you could have given him fabric, given him sound, and then also had the means to take his mask off, then we can start entertaining the idea that the figure could be a hundred and uh, what was it, like $115. I think it was like $115.99 that I paid for this guy. The smaller versions, to be all fair, even though they don't have fabric on the pants and on the shirt, I think they're better looking figures as a whole. They granted have the kind of hump that Jason is known for in uh, Friday 13th part three, um, but he doesn't have like the, none of these have fabric. And I think I'm perfectly fine with that. If the trade off is just better looking figures, I'm perfectly fine that they don't have fabric to them. Where are these benefited? Now this one here, I want to remember, I want to say I paid about, 35 maybe $40 for this Jason, and about the same for this one, the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which I ended up having to order online. Uh, the benefit, though, of these ones, though they are a little bit more stylized, 
is that you could at the very least take off the hockey mask. Kind of a little bit more of a baby sort of mutated mongoloid Jason, but at the very least you could take his mask off, which again I think points should if not strongly be given then to these guys because at the very least you know you, you have posable figures but you also have the means to take off their hockey mask. I always feel like it's a real crime when you get a Jason whether it be a figure, a collectible, anything you you know, anything under the sun, and it doesn't have a removable hockey mask. That is his big thing. In fact, in every movie, he's been unmasked. So why, oh why, could they not have simply, you know, included a removable mask on the larger scale? I guess that's not 100% right, because Freddy versus Jason, I don't think he came, his hockey mask came off. It kind of just kind of peaked up a little bit when you saw, like, the water coming out of his mouth. Um, so, like, these ones, I think, benefit a little bit more by having... First of all, a little bit more of an affordable price. They're, even if they were like 30, even if they were 40, that is like a third the cost of the bigger scale. You get the benefit of a larger scale Jason, but in all honesty, I still don't think he measured up to being worth $115. Now these ones again have the posability in the arms. The arms could rotate. You had the swivel in the, in the, uh, the forearm. Jason didn't have that. This Jason only had the moving arms. You could go for a nice afternoon stroll in the park. You know, one of those power, what are they, power walks where they just go like this and their legs go like this. Uh, but that's all they could do. And he, of course, he could swivel at the boots. Um, he could swivel at the wrists. And of course, he had the bulge joint in the head, which you could, you could move. The benefit of this one also had, I mean, it can't all be negatives. This one, you know, it's good for its size. One benefit it also had was the audio. And certainly for a much more in-depth review, by all means, I would encourage you guys to you know, check out my video of this guy. But in the try and the on, it has the same exact audio. I don't even understand why the try and the on had to not just be the one button. Why couldn't it just be on and off if it did the exact same thing? No matter how many times you press it, it will do the exact same thing. And I don't even feel like it needed to do it twice. I feel like it could have easily just done it once. And that's it. It's like to add another one is almost unnecessary. These little guys, these little Jasons, don't have any audio whatsoever. But again, I, I like these ones, I think, a little bit more. I don't even want to say a little bit more. I think I like them a lot more than than this Jason right here. They're just cute. They're little poseable versions, like I said, of Jason Voorhees. They got the removable mask. They come with a, a an axe, and they come with a machete. Personally speaking, and again, it's really hard to do a comparison between two clearly different lines that Mezco Toys has released. This one's geared a little bit more, I think, towards people that like Living Dead dolls, which again, I feel like this guy could have been shorter like a Living Dead doll and have been about the same price point. Calling him mega size simply just by adding a few inches on top of, you know, what a regular Living Dead doll. I think Living Dead dolls are like 12 inches, so they're about there. To add to that by a couple of inches more, I don't feel, again... And I sound like a broken record for saying this. I don't feel, again, $50 on top of a Living Dead doll price was worth it, no matter whether you add audio or not. Removing the mask would be one thing completely different. If they had done that, that would be something at the very least. But not to have a removable mask, I think that's, I think that's a little sucky. I'm just going to say a little bit on the sucky side. Um, so, again, between the two... And I say two because these guys really are identical to one another. Personally speaking, and I'm glad that the viewer had said, can you do a comparison between the two? Because it gives me a chance to kind of talk a little bit more about these figures because I really do like them. I just don't like, yeah, not going to beat a dead horse on that one. Out of the two, though, I like these guys a lot more. Price point, the fact that you have removable masks. I don't care that they don't have audio. And uh, again, they get two two different weapons. Probably, I probably don't need necessarily both of them. The benefits, this one has the blood, but that's not really a whole lot. Um, I'm happy just to have this one. This guy, I, I think way too much, even though he's got the audio. 
I feel like I'm more a fan of these ones myself, even though they are a lot smaller. And that's actually one thing that's good too. This guy would have to, you'd have to find a, a very specific place for. Really, these guys could just sit on like a video shelf. You could have, like if you had your Friday the 13th movies behind it, you could have these guys in the front with their, you know, their ax and their machete. So the size, even though you would almost think that a smaller figure would be a detriment to the figure, it's actually a plus because you also have, you know, available space that you can display these versus this big giant Jason that you got to find a place for. So I, I want to thank the viewer. He might have even had, had contacted me on Facebook regarding this. He had said, you know, can you do a comparison between the mega sized Jason and the more stylized Jasons that we had, you know, we had looked at on this channel previously. And I was more than happy to oblige because anytime I get a chance to go back and have a look at Jason Voorhees figures, I'm pretty much okay with that. On, on most accounts, I'm pretty much okay to go back and have a look at Jason Voorhees figures because I love Jason Voorhees. But let me know down below, guys. Let me know maybe the positives and the negatives of both of these figures. And then let me know of the two, which you would prefer instead. Do you like the mega size Jason? The fact that he's a little bit more like a living dead doll and the fact that he's got the audio. Or do you like the stylized version of Jason? Either way, let me know down below. I love reading your comments. One thing that I always want to try to do on this channel, and I hope up to this point I've been very diligent about doing, is replying to all the comments that you guys post. And hopefully you've seen that. Um, I personally don't like going to like channels, for example, where you know if I if I say hey, you know I like your video or, or what you know uh, whatever the question may ask. A lot of times somebody may not get back to you. I try my best at the very least to reply to every single comment that you guys post. So you know. Bring on the comments, and uh, you know, let me let me uh, let me discuss this back and forth with you. What you know, which version of Jason do you like a little bit more? Speaking of comparisons, also if there's anything else you'd like me to compare on this channel, and we've done a couple of comparisons already, comparing the various different Jasons that NECA has released. Um, I'm planning also to do the same thing with all the Freddy Kruegers and also plan on doing the same things with the NECA uh, Child's Play figures because we're going to be getting ourselves an Ultimate Chucky and an Ultimate Tiffany uh, coming up soon as well. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, either way, guys, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Lots more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.